A little grain of sand is minuscule by itself, but many of them can make a mountain. The title is Those Little Decisions. Hope you enjoy it. Good morning. Good morning. How much decision making do you want me to do as a man? Uh, I'll be honest with you, sometimes I feel like you want me to make more decisions than I'm willing to make. Could you... Okay. Me on that? okay, like for instance, sometimes you'll ask me, what would you like for, for supper? I know it's simple, but it's an everyday thing. And sometimes I haven't a clue. And sometimes I have no opinion whatsoever, but I kind of feel like you're pressing me to make a decision. Oh. But then... I well, I think that's possibly because most times when I say, what would you like? You say, what would you like? I mean, if you're asking me what we're going to have for supper, obviously you have an idea. But everyday life is kind of like that. It's not sad, it's just these are nuts and bolts. Well, <laughs> no, because little things go to big things. If they're unchecked, that's my point. Okay. So what decisions do you want me to make? What, when do, when, how do I know when you really want me to make a decision? I think that there are times when, in your spirit, you know that instinctively. Because there are times when you don't even ask me, you just do. Okay, then a decision is not needed. You just do. And my opinion is irrelevant in those cases. Uh, I, I still am left with a question mark. Is there any kind of decisions that you, like, habitually want me to take or not? I don't know, or is it, or is it each decision its own entity? I think each decision is, is its own entity. Then I'll have to take it like that, won't I? You will. Okay. Next week we'll be visiting Gareth and Angela again and we'll see how much they can count on each other when they say they'll do something. There'll be lots of laughs, don't miss it. God bless and bye for now.